Today I'm showing you Strata Wear for Minecraft 1.21. You can find this client over here in the Bedrock channel in my Discord server, uh, together actually with a bunch of other clients too, so definitely not a bad place to be. Anyways, here in my downloads, I've got two versions of Strataware. Um, I'm only going to be looking at the latest release one over here, um, but I'll also link the older version in my Discord server in case you guys wanted to check that out. Anyways, we want to inject these, um, and because they're standalone DLL files, we do need, need an injector. I highly recommend Fade Client Injector, link in the description below. Anyways, here we can simply select the DLL and then click on inject right over here. And as you can see, that is going to inject right into Minecraft Bedrock Edition. The version you need for this is 1.21.2. If you want to learn how to downgrade, you can do so with Bedrock Launcher tutorial in the description below. Anyways, as you can see, here I am inside of Minecraft. And um, you'll notice that this client actually looks a lot like Boost, and it is actually also kind of skidded off of that. But if it was just a blatant skid, I obviously wouldn't be showing you guys this. Um, it's actually got quite a large amount of things. It was built off of one of the leaks, actually. It has a bunch of utilities, and it is not just some random skid. It has actually added a bunch of things as well. As you can see, it's a pretty extensive client. There's quite a few options here. Um, to use this, you would use it as any other client click to turn on, click once again to turn them off, and um, you can actually right click on these for quite a lot of customization in a lot of these actually, so that's really neat. Anyways, um, I think I said it, but the insert button on your keyboard, INS insert, is the button you use to open and close this up. Anyways, uh, in the chat over here, this client uh, does also actually support commands, an example of it would be the dot an example of this would be the dot bind command where we can for example use to bind the click GUI which as I said is bound to insert to another key for example F and what that does is make you open and close this with F. Uh, the chat response is a little scuffed but I mean that's alright I suppose nothing detrimental there. With how much options this client has I highly recommend you mess around with it a little. Now that isn't actually all, because over here on GitHub, uh, the creator of this client has also actually released the base, um, which I will link this page down in the description below. As you can see, um, it's built upon a framework, and this framework can be found right over here. Um, as you can see, this also explains that this is not just a blatant skid of a lexical leak. Anyways, um, here, you can find a bunch of information if you're into skidding or anything like that, um, which... I'll admit it's quite fun tutorial for that actually down in the description below. Anyways, uh, this is quite a nice base to work off of uh, and is different than if you were to just blatantly skid some kind of client. In the releases tab over here, there is also a uh, pre-release of the uh, compiled base DLL. So yeah, pretty neat. Link in the description. Anyways, uh, for right now, that was basically that. Thank you ever so much for watching. And I do, of course, hope to see you all again in the next one. Bye-bye.